Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be doing a junk journal with me video. Um, I'm going to be using one of my junk journal ephemera kits that I've put together. Um, and I actually get through quite a bit of this, not necessarily in this video, uh, but in the junk journal that I'm working on in this video, I get through most of this kit, which is super awesome. I love getting through the things I've hoarded, um, but I'm just laying everything out, seeing what I'm working with. Um, and this junk journal is very narrow. Um, I made this and several other ones very much like it a long, 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 long time ago. Um, I thought I had made a video on my channel about them, but I went back and I looked and I couldn't find it. So I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't. Um, but then I thought, now I'm thinking maybe I made one recently and I put it up. I don't know. But this junk journal is made literally out of junk. Like this is almost exclusively just like random papers I would have thrown away like junk mail um and like magazine pages um there are some other things in here like there are some coloring book pages from like Dollar Tree coloring books there are some random like the smaller pages I made out of uh like list pads and stuff um and the cover I made out of a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper that I just folded in half, which is why it's so narrow, just because everything that I put in it and the, the cover is just really narrow. And it made for like a really interesting shape. Once I use up the ones that I've made already, I don't think that I'll ever do this again. I mean, never say never, right? But I don't think that I will just because it, the height was really nice because I could put in really tall papers, like base, I could put in full size sheets of paper, but it made it really difficult because of the width. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I've got quite a few more to use up, so we'll just, we'll use those and then we'll go from there. But right now I am just stapling on some clothing tags from a bunch of clothes that I got from Target, I think. Um, and I just stapled those on like super, I don't know, crazy. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I stapled them on like really wonky and I did it on purpose. I wanted them to look really wonky um, to add some, like to add a different shape to the edge. And then I glued on a piece of pattern paper from my ephemera kit onto this like junk mail sheet and then I'm going to secure the other edge with some washi. And then I have this um, paper that was like the backing that came with a piece of uh, mammoth tusk I think that my husband had bought for my son from probably one of his trips to Alaska. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not sure where the mammoth tusk is. It's it's somewhere around here, but I figured I would put the backing in here before it got any more like crinkled and messed up. And then I just put a random vinyl sticker. I have a whole bunch of them in my kit because I had bought a whole bunch of them. And I just like throwing them in willy-nilly. Sorry if you guys can hear the dinging. My husband is texting me. Um... Yeah, and then there was a little sticky note that had like come home on something that my teachers or my teacher, my son's teacher had sent home with him. Um, and so I just stuck that there, his old teacher. And then I have just a bunch of random little bits, like tags off of things that I am just going to stick around. And I stapled that one over the top. These ones, I'm just going to glue, kind of overlaying each other. These are tags from some swim shorts that I got from my husband from Sam's Club. And they're so cute. I feel like Sam's Club actually has some really cute clothes sometimes, which 
I don't know. I feel like that's not the place where you would think that you would find cute things, but I found some really cute things there. Uh, these swim shorts included. One of them is red with lobsters all over it, and the other one is pink with, like, blue alligators. <laughs> and I just think they're so dang cute. I love them. And my husband likes, like, whimsical things, so he likes them too. And then I'm just going to glue on this little, like, mm, mini journaling card thing and then just write about the fact that I bought those for him uh and I tried to use this pen first and it just was not penning so <laughs> I grab a different one in a second yeah oh sorry I really shook the camera there I probably got up and out of my chair to go get that and then I didn't realize I knocked the camera so it'll stop shaking in a minute here um, but yeah, I'm just journaling about that. I don't honestly do a lot of journaling in my junk journal, which may seem contradictory, but, um, most of the time the things I'm putting in here, I feel like are pretty self-explanatory and don't necessarily have, uh, a story attached to it that I care about remembering, but, um, sometimes, sometimes I do want to remember. Um, I have this piece of ephemera. This is like a really old Smashbook piece of ephemera or like Kane Company or something. I'm not, I mean, Kane Company made Smashbooks, but I don't know if it was like specifically a Smashbook one or if it was just some random thing that they came out with. I don't know. Uh, I have this little pouch that comes with a little journaling card inside and I'm going to journal about that little foam airplane that I glued down. Uh, the, the pocket says show me the money that doesn't really have anything to do with the airplane. I just wanted the hidden journaling. Um, it's just from a pack of like foam airplanes. You can pop them out and put them together. It makes a little 3D airplane and um, I found a pack of those at Where You Been for, I think, a dollar, and I just thought they were really cute, and they would be really fun to play with with my son. We haven't actually done that yet, but I just kind of wanted to put one in, in my journal, just to remember. And I have another piece of pattern paper from my ephemera kit, and I'm sticking that down. Um, I don't really care that I can see some of the... Uh, junk mail page back there. I think it, being able to see some of it adds some interest, but I don't really want to see the whole thing. So I put a piece of pattern paper and then I'm putting down some just random tags that I have from things. Uh, two from uh, Rainbow Friends plushies that we had gotten for my son. And then um, I don't know what the other one was from, but there's two more vinyl stickers there just to take up space uh, and add something interesting to look at. I really love using the crap out of these vinyl stickers. They're just so perfect. Like they, there's tons of different sizes so they can take up the perfect amount of space, space that you need to. They add color and pattern and they just make the pages more interesting. I feel like so. I have these backer cards for some fig pins. Um, I have a Han Solo one, Stormtrooper, and Appa. And I'm just going to put them in and kind of overlay them a little bit so that they all fit together. And I'm putting them underneath this like clear flap from a sticker book. And then on top of that, I end up um, putting a vinyl sticker. right there and then you kind of flip that up you don't really need to like you can see everything under there just fine I just like the interactive element that you can flip it up if you want to oh my god I don't know why my neighbors are yelling right now 
that's generally not a thing that happens. Like, my neighbors are all pretty quiet, except for some of their kids, but whatever. But, like, my neighbor is, like, yelling right now. Not that yelling. Like, he's excited about something, but I don't know what's going on. Uh, I have this glassine bag from an old, like, Studio Calico kid or something that I bought from them a long time ago. And I stuck in that cat flashcard. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use it for at this point, but I do find something to use it for, and it's it works out perfectly. Um, and I I contemplated gluing these down, but I didn't want to cover up either side. So I have this little pouch, um, and I'm just going to stick them in there so that I can pull them out and look at them whenever because I you know I like both sides. And I actually glue that on top of the glassine bag, and I really like how that looks layered together. I don't know. It's really simple, but I was kind of proud of myself for thinking of it. It's nothing crazy, though. So on the other side of this cat flashcard, um, I just put these two uh, magic cards. And you might be thinking, if you know what magic cards are supposed to look like, that those don't look quite right. And that's because they don't. Um, because I, I tried to alter them. And those two just did not work out. So I thought, I instead of throwing them away, I figured I'd keep my failures and, you know, document them. But, you know, kind of in a hidden way. So I don't have to look at them if I don't want to. Um, but I have this strip of like coloring slash activity paper from a like mini activity tin, a dinosaur tin, and I'm not really going to color it, but I did want to keep it. So I'm just sticking it in here. And anything that's like long and skinny like this is kind of perfect for this junk journal. So yeah, um, that is a tag from a necklace. And I just stapled it on the bottom. And this is the other piece of that strip. And I'm going to glue it on the page next to it. I have to cut it down a little bit because it's a little too long. These are from, what are they called? They're those little balls that you can get that have like miniature food in them that you make out of resin. Uh, I can't think what they're called, but they're so fun and they're adorable and they come with these little, I don't know, pieces of cardstock with like designs on them. I don't think they're actually supposed to be for anything, but I just kept them all and I'm going to put them in my journal. Then I have just some other little bits and bobs. I have a candy wrapper there that I stapled on as, what am I doing? Anyway, I have a candy wrapper that I stapled on as a tab, and I actually really like that. I think that looks really cool. Um, and then I have this packaging from a Glade thing, and I'm going to glue that on to this page. And then I contemplated leaving the, like, extra hanging over, but it was a little too long, and I wasn't a big fan of that. I wasn't a big fan of how long it was. Um, yeah, see, I'm closing it to see. It was just a little too long, so I folded it over, and then I staple it. And that works out just fine. These are packaging from some, like, larger foam airplanes. They're definitely different. I don't remember where we got these. Probably Amazon or something. But um, these ones come with little, like, plastic noses and propellers. And so these ones actually fly really well, and they're really fun. And we, there's a bunch of different styles, so I just put all of them in there. I think there are more styles than this, but those are the ones that I have. Uh, in my stuff to document and then I have this purse sticker that probably came with like a rainbow 
like the rainbow girls I don't know what they're actually called rainbow something rainbow friends no it's not rainbow friends that's the creepy things I don't know but it was really cute and so I just stuck it there <laughs> it was just a sticker uh, then I have some packaging from some Star Wars sheets for my son so obviously I have to put that in there really most of the stuff that I document in my junk journals is just like ephemera from my everyday life um and I feel like that's my preferred way of junk journaling every once in a while when I have extra photos um I'll put them in my junk journal but I don't really try to make my pages too scrapbooky because I do also scrapbook and that's where I prefer to make my pages more scrapbooky um Although, right now, all of my <laughs> scrapbooking stuff is in a different state, so I can't scrapbook right now, which is very sad. It's very, very sad. But I feel like eventually I will go back to scrapbooking when I'm able to. So I would rather save the pictures I have for then. <laughs> anyway, um, I have this slap bracelet that... The school, like, his school did this thing where, like, they had a, a dentist come and, like, do checkups on their teeth and stuff. And they sent home little, like, goodie packs that had, like, toothbrush and toothpaste and stuff. And they had slap bracelets in there. Uh, with, like, I just thought a dentist slap bracelet is pretty funny. But I stapled that onto the page and I did it in the center near the spine. And then I realized that was a bad idea because that was going to bulk up the spine a lot. And then after I took it off, I decided to just take the metal insert out because I didn't want to risk it. Because this is a soft cover journal, especially, I didn't want to risk the the insert like being pushed down and then being activated and that thing like curling up and destroying a bunch of pages. So I took it out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I just have like a bunch of other random things. Another tag I keep the tags from everything just because I like sticking them in my journals so yeah I have this random envelope and I like the color of it so I'm just sticking this in here and I think I use it to put other things in I don't remember what I put in it though and then I secure it with some washi uh, what do I put in here? I don't know. I had some little paper from uh, I don't know, a doll or something. And then I'm gonna put a vinyl sticker on there because cute. And then these are a couple of Valentines uh, from my son's school. I just have them floating around in my stuff. So I'm gluing them down, but only the tops so that you can still flip them up and see who they're from. Not that, you know, when he's an adult or whatever, if he looks at these, which I don't actually expect him to, but if he does, and that's cool. Um, I don't think that he's actually gonna remember who these people are. It's very, very small likelihood. Um, although I do remember the names of all of my friends from elementary school. So maybe he will. He does have a good memory, so there's a good chance. Um, but yeah, I'm just sticking kind of like random little bits and bobs, packaging of things. I put a journaling card on the other side of that smaller page. Um, there's another pattern paper. And then this is the packaging not the packaging, like a tag that came on uh, this like stationery set, Star Wars stationery set that my aunt had gotten for my son. And then there's an envelope from one of his Valentines. These are swatch cards from some 
um, pastel uh, alcohol markers. Oh my gosh, why am I blanking? Alcohol markers that my husband had got me uh, off Amazon. And you might be wondering, like, well, what's the point of having the swatch cards if it's going to be hidden away in your junk journal? You'd have to take your junk journal out every time you wanted to see what the color was. And no, it, it's fine. I thought filling out the swatch cards would be fun just for me to see the colors. Um, when I, you know, had just gotten them, I hadn't used them yet. Uh, but I have a, actually have a book where I will put the swatches in just in case I actually need to access them. But most of the time I don't, uh, reference my swatch books. It is a very rare occasion where I'm looking for a specific color of something. Um, but most of the time I'm just like, you know, eyeballing it and then grabbing it and seeing if it works on a scratch piece of paper before I use it. Um, but yeah, I just thought those would be kind of cute to fill out and then put in my junk journal. It's really why I filled them out, honestly. Uh, we've got some packaging from some planner stickers. And these heart stickers, I just like sticking them whenever I have a small little space to fill. Um, just because I have so many, so I might as well try and use them up. So anything that was like small and skinny, um, I just was really good for this type of junk journal. Um, as I'm recording this voiceover, I am done with this junk journal. <laughs> I finished this junk journal, I think, in two days. Now, granted, it's, you know, it's not a full-size junk journal, but I'm pretty proud of myself. I finished it in three sittings, I think. No, four. But one of them was really small. Honestly, like, the clip that I filmed for it was so small that it was kind of not worth doing a video of because the whole, the clip itself was only 15 minutes and then by the time I speed it up it would be like a five minute video and I mean you know it's nothing wrong with a five minute video it just didn't really feel worth it um so I didn't bother with it <laughs> but I finished it in two days I'm pretty sure pretty sure I did I have another valentine Oh wait, I glued that up there. And since I'm only gluing one part, that can still flip up. I, I can still see the uh, the swatch card, which is very convenient. <laughs> I have this packaging from some Nerds gummy clusters, which I don't actually think I ate any of these. Maybe like one or two. I'm pretty sure my husband and my son ate those. Um, but I think that is. It. So yeah, now I'm going to just go through the pages that I did and show you everything real quick. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, I am going to try to upload more consistently, <laughs> but I feel like I'm jinxing myself by saying that because I feel like every time I say I want to do that, I like my uploading gets worse. <laughs> so maybe that's not a great idea. Maybe I should just bite my tongue and, and not say anything and just do my best from the shadows. I really love these little cards. These come from, I don't remember what they're called, but it's like a pack and you get a bunch of mini poppets. And then each one comes with a card and a matching sticker. And I just think they're so freaking cute. Oh, and it comes with like a little keychain, not a keychain ring, like a, it's like an O-ring type of thing um, that you can put them on. Oh, there, there you go. I showed them. They're so cute. There's a little toilet. That's so funny. And a naked mole rat. I love these so much. Um, they have them on uh, clearance at Target a lot. So every time I see it, I grab one. Um, but, yeah. So, 
flipping, flipping. There's the tags. Cards and stickers. Some journaling. I don't remember what that's about though. Oh, that was like a packaging for some tea from a witch casket that I got a while back. Those tahine watermelon rings are so delicious. Like, oh my god, so delicious. But anyway, that's it. Again, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, do all the fun things. And I will see you guys next time. Toodaloo!